Welcome to College Candidates by Campus Bound. This is Fairfield University. Can you give us a sort of quick overview of Fairfield? Sure. Quick overview. Fairfield is a small liberal arts core curriculum school, uh, but we also have professional programs in business, nursing, and engineering, which in the past couple of years, we've really seen those programs really thriving, really growing. We'll always be a, a liberal arts school at our core. Um, but even as of, let's say, two years ago, our business program is now our largest program. So we're, we're not bound to only being an arts and science school, certainly. Um, a New York City school, New York City area school, but certainly not in a city, about an hour train ride outside of New York, outside of Manhattan, but very much in a suburban setting, uh, right on the coast of Connecticut, about a, about a mile away from the beach, uh, with, with what I consider to be kind of the traditional college campus um, very contained, very, even though we're a smaller 4,000 student body size, um, uh, a large, you know, acreage per, per student, large, um, uh, nice and spread out, and a very new campus, too. We are in the process of finalizing what's been a multi year kind of campus improvement plan where we've done, I'm gonna say 10 to 12 major construction projects. So a lot of new buildings, a lot of new dorms. And our final project is just about to break ground. It'll be a brand new arena in the center of campus. Tim, can you give us three words or phrases that you think describe Fairfield's student body? I think our students, it's maybe two words, maybe we could hyphenate it, very internationally focused. Um, where they, we see 60 to 70% of students will study abroad or leave the country with a Fairfield affiliated program. So that might be through um, uh, a service or a volunteer program that we have, but it's largely study abroad that students are leaving the country with. They're studying abroad from anywhere between a week to a year. They're doing it in multiple places. I know students who do a semester in Germany and then she went to Australia. Uh, I know a student, my roommate, he, um, he went to Italy and he went to Brazil for study abroad. Uh, so we're, we're really flexible and, and comprehensive when it comes to study abroad stuff. So as someone who works in admissions, how would you advise students to report their high school activities on their college application? You know, pr present these things like like any other year that we know this has been a tough year. And, and if you want to go in a little extra information about um, how you have uh, accommodated some of these things, but uh, that's fine. But I, you know, from my perspective, like it's been a tough year. And if, if you've watched a lot more movies this year, if you've played a lot more video games, like who can blame you? Like um, it, it, it wasn't the year to be super involved in activities and interests and things like that. Um, if you were able to, that's great. We'd love to hear about it, but um, I don't think, at least from my perspective, a student would be at a, a disadvantage if they were unable to, to participate in some of those things this year. So what advice do you have for students who are trying to research colleges from afar? You know, I, I work with a lot of international students and I've been trying really hard for a couple of years to, to make our website a little better when it comes to um, showing what we have to students who can't come anywhere near campus, you know, because they're on the other side of the world. And now we have those things. We got, we got those things within weeks of the pandemic. We, we, we were able to do um, to really expand our virtual interview opportunities. Um, we were able to do all of the information sessions that we would do on campus. We're doing multiple versions of them virtually every day. We're doing admitted student virtual events. We're doing virtual events that focus on specific programs. We've never been able to do that before because we weren't really thinking that way. 